coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Sunday morning. We're taking a live look from our tower cam south of Brazil here. You're looking at Interstate 70, a cloudy start to the day. Sunrise was at 8.05 this morning now that we've changed our clocks ahead one hour. So we're going to get more daylight as we get later on into the day. And in fact, we are expecting some sunshine by the time we finish up for today. As you can tell this morning, we are seeing that cloud cover. Now today also marks the start of Severe Weather Preparedness Week in Indiana. So today we're going to talk about storm outlooks. You probably hear us talk about those when severe weather rolls in. Now these are issued by the Storm Prediction Center and there are basically five levels. And the higher the level, the greater chance an area has to see severe weather. So marginal and slight risk are pretty common for this area. That means either isolated to scattered severe storms are possible. Typically not very intense, but you can still have those stronger storms. So the farther to the right you get on this graph, Traffic, the better chance of severe weather and the more severe severe weather you can get out of these situations. Moderate and high risks are pretty rare for this area, but those are some of the different categories that we have in the Wabash Valley. The good news today, no severe weather in the forecast. Three things you need to know. It is going to be a mostly cloudy morning as we saw with the tower cam. Clouds are going to hang around for the next few hours, but as we get into the afternoon, we are expecting that sunshine to return. So pretty nice way to finish up the weekend, but it is going to be breezy over the course of the entire day, but that wind is going to help warm us up as we get into the afternoon, but those wind gusts could be as high as 35 miles per hour. So now we take a look at the Storm Team 10 clouds and radar. You can see that cloud cover that's made its way across the Wabash Valley, but notice the clearing is already taking place across northwestern Illinois. So as we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see that cloud cover push out. And again, a few flurries even noticed up here across northern Indiana, but I don't think we'll see any of that activity here locally. Now as we look at temperatures, it's already warmer right now than it was at any point yesterday. Most spots are in the 30s, if not the upper 20s. It's 29 in Linton, 28 in Brazil and Rockville, 31 for Paris and Terre Haute, also 31 in Newton, and 33 right now over in Effingham. Now the wind's already out there with us. It's coming up out of the south, kind of southwest. That's what's bringing in the warmer air. Currently sustained at 22 miles per hour in Robinson, 25 miles per hour in Paris, 14 in Terre Haute, and 17 in Washington. Again, those wind gusts could get as high as 35 miles per hour as we get into the afternoon. So definitely going to be a breezy way to finish up the weekend. Now, as we look at our day planner over the course of the day, again, that cloud cover breaking down as we get around lunchtime, and then plenty of sunshine expected as we get into the afternoon. That's going to allow temperatures to climb up into the middle 50s, which is more seasonable for this time of year. And we're going to keep with that wind. You see the southwest wind anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour over the course of the entire day. Now, as we look at the temperature trend over the next five days, yesterday we only made it to 26 degrees, well below our average of 52, but by tomorrow, up to 60, 61 on Tuesday, upper 60s by Wednesday, and we could hit the 70 degree mark as we head towards St. Patrick's Day. So now we'll take a run through the future cast as we go through the rest of the morning. Again, that cloud cover still in the area, but as we get past noon, we start to see that sky clear out of here, giving us that sunshine as we get into the latter half of the day. As we go into the overnight hours, expecting a mostly clear sky, but it won't get as cold tonight, so only down into the middle 30s. And then for tomorrow, more sunshine as we get our work and school week started. Expecting a pretty nice day, wind coming up out of the south, wind not quite as strong, but still breezy as we get into Monday. Then clouds return tomorrow night, and we may see a few light rain showers during the overnight hours Monday into the first part of Tuesday. Not like a major system, maybe just some sprinkles out and about across the Wabash Valley. So for today, 55 degrees becoming sunny once we get to the afternoon. Again, those wind gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. Then for tonight, mostly clear down to 36 degrees, so not as cold as it has been the last few nights. South wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then for tomorrow, a sunny, breezy and mild day, 60 degrees, so not too bad to start off the week. Wind gusts still as high as 25 miles per hour. And as we look the next seven days, again, those slight chances of some rain showers Monday night into Tuesday, but then St. Patrick's Day looking really nice before a cold front comes through Friday, bringing more rain and some cooler temperatures for next week weekend.